Hi, I'm Cap Olden, and welcome to another installment of Cap Olden's Comic Reviews. Uh, I got a lot to talk about tonight. Uh, I'm trying to see get out of the way. Um, first up, I have Deadpool team up. I have the new one, Android 83. I don't have Deadpool Core 12. Apparently, the store ran out. <laughs> Not surprised why. Uh, hopefully, I'll have that next week, and I can do the final review on that one, and as well as do the review for Deadpool Family. So I'll try to get uh, Deadpool team up out of the way. But also we have, uh, let's hear, we have Kick-Ass, uh, issue, issue number, Kick-Ass 2, issue number 2. Um, we'll talk about uh, that. And um, let's hear, we also have the one-shot comic from Dark Horse. Uh, let's hear, Dark, let's hear, Dollhouse, uh, Empathies. Um, we'll get into that. And since I've uh, already got a tile cover for today's video, I thought, why not, I'll review a Wonder Woman cost comic as well, because I also want to talk about the recent changes to the costume for this new series. But going on to Deadpool Team-Up, um, I have to say, um, this is not the original cover I got, I got that one where, you know that picture where Deadpool's crying, where he's holding both Core and Team-Up in his hand? They have him on both issues, I picked it up for this one, I'm probably going to get the regular cover for Core when, when I get it. Uh, but like I said, if basically if this is the last Deadpool team up, I'm glad to say I am so happy that they finally made one that made me laugh. I swear, I swear to God, if this is the last Deadpool team up, I am so happy. <laughs> Not that happy because it's done, but also happy that it made me laugh. The first few pages of the book made me laugh so hard, and <laughs> it, it, it's been a long time since I've laughed really, really hard at a Deadpool team-up comic. It's been a long time. Oh, man. Oh, but I'm glad on this one. Pretty much, I have to say, if anyone, if they were ever going to team up, you'll lack Galactus with anybody. It would have to be Deadpool, considering enough. I was kind of a little disappointed with... With the, what happens if the Venom symbiote had replaced Deadpool, I was kind of a little disappointed with that one. But I'm glad with this one, because this one was even better. And it, I mean, basically, what do you think is going to happen when you give Deadpool the power cosmic? You give him the power cosmic, what do you think is going to happen? It's so funny, um, I, even like, I even love the ending, it's even great. The ending's so great, I'm not going to spoil it, but let's just say, I mean, this book pretty much had it. We have him teaming up with Galactus, we have him fighting the Silver Surfer. It's really great. It's a great book. This one, I have to say, if you're not a fan of Team Up, at least get this one. This was funny. At least the first few pages made me laugh so hard. I mean, Christ, and considering enough that, I mean, there, there's so much to laugh about and make fun of in this comic, and it's really good. So let's move on to the Kick-Ass number two, volume two. Surprisingly enough, it leads continuing with the story. Basically, Kick-Ass is teaming up with a bunch of other superheroes who have decided to take up the cause and fight crime and everything. And in a way, it's what he wants. He's keep, he's living this superhero life. He's like, he's doing it all. Of course, you know, no one has any superpowers or anything like that. And there's talks now that Red Mist is forming up like a, a, League of, a League of Doom or his own band of supervillains to take over the city. And it, which really sucks because if the book, if this is really good, what's going to happen in the book, this is actually, I want this, what's happening in the book to happen in the movie, but the movie's not going to happen. Apparently, or it may not, I don't know, it may not happen, or it may take a long time until we get a, a, a sequel to Kick-Ass. Because everybody's working on different projects now, all the actors involved, except for Nicholas Cage, because he's dead, uh, are all working on other projects right now, and they all can't do it at the time being. So, and I think it would be a little too soon to throw out a sequel while the second while the second book is still being written and did everything. So, good point. Make the book. Make the second movie like this book. Actually, wait, which might be good. So wait till the book gets finished. Then make the movie. It, it gives plenty of time. <laughs> Maybe that's the other reason they just made up some bullshit excuse. Because everyone working on different projects. I mean, most actors do work on different projects back to back, but you know, that's who knows. Uh, 
Let's see, what would the Dollhouse Empathy? Um, yeah, I'm, this is a one-shot comic. It's a Dark Horse comic. Um, surprisingly enough, I actually like Dollhouse, the TV series. I didn't really watch much of the second season when it came out. Get, I got sidetracked by so many stuff. And, you know, I thought it was I thought it was a nice series. I thought it was a good series, you know. They made by the same guys who did Buffy the Vampire Slayer and, and um, Firefly. <laughs> so wanting. <laughs> We're still hoping. Yeah, uh, I know. Serenity has its moments with me. Uh, but like I said, I mean, this is a pretty good book. I mean, I, Dark Horse, most kind of books usually keep, what is it, most comics usually keep going with the stories that are made, that are made comic books out of TV series. Um, you know, like, I think, what was it, uh, Angels, anybody remember Angel from the, Man from the Buffy the Vampire series, the spinoff show? When it went off the air, the comic books kind of continued off where it ended and kept going with it. And now there's, like, multiple comics where we have Angel and Spike and everything. Yeah, but pretty much, like I said, I, I haven't, I never caught up with the, much of the second season, so, and then the series guy got canceled, which sucked, because I always thought Elijah Dushku was pretty hot. <laughs> you know, but pretty much the book is kind of weird, I mean, the cover, as you can see, I, I, does the cover, does this, this person right here kind of look familiar to you for some reason, who knows, I mean, because, yeah, yeah, I, I know where they're going with it, because, yeah, <laughs> who knows, but basically enough, I, I have to say with this, it's a pretty good book, I mean, it's a one shot, and it's going to continue going on with the rest of the story in July, uh, but basically, the premise, you know, how I put this for this one? I like this book, but it reminds me of something. It actually reminds me of, there was a movie that came out a while back. It was called uh, Signal, where if anybody saw a, a certain signal on a television or they heard it, they started going crazy and started killing people. Sort of the same, the premise of the story is pretty much the same, and... It's more like, you know, everyone, the, the world's in chaos. Everyone who heard, heard it or the signal is going nuts and bashing, killing people and going crazy and survivors are yeah, in survival. It's basically the basic, your basic survival premise. But I, I, can, I guess I kind of, oh, excuse me, uh, I guess it, I kind of like that sort of thing. Now, moving on to the Wonder Woman comic, and we'll talk about the costume. Um, surprisingly, I haven't kept up with the, uh, Wonder Woman series. I mean, I like Wonder Woman as a character, and I really don't keep up with the series in her comics and everything. And, you know, it, the Supreme I've read, it looks like basically Diana's somehow finding out that she's in a long line. Like, no matter what, no matter how it, and like, alter, how about the, like, alternate versions of her, no matter what, she was always destined to be Wonder Woman. And I guess I get that, you know, sorry. It's a nice little story, and it shows all cool different versions of Wonder Woman, like Pirate Wonder Woman, or uh, Savage Wonder Woman, or Blind Justice Wonder Woman. You know, it's pretty cool, and, you know, it, it sort of like brings out, a, it's more of like one of those destiny things. Uh, but the book's pretty nice, the artistry's pretty good. Like I said, I have never really caught up with the series, so I don't know what. I just kind of dove into this one for the review, because I want the, for the cover page, and then I wanted to talk about the costume, because we all know not too many people are not too crazy about the new Wonder Woman TV series. Uh, I know a few people who are extremely upset about it, so much that they're calling for blood. Um... Basically, uh, they changed the costume again, and like I've said before, I mean, no matter what, with the costume, you change it, you, you mean, now she, instead of the blue boots, she's got red boots, and instead of the tight skin leather pants, she's got more of like a tight, fat spandex sort of pants with the, uh, with more of like, like those little, what is it, little straight, little stripe with little stars on it. No matter what, it basically... The Wonder Woman, co the costume that they have now in the comic. So, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. Uh, I, I, people, like I said, are not too crazy about this. I know people who are really die-hard Wonder Woman fans, and they're not too happy. Mostly, enough, they managed to get, like, a leaked 
version of the plot and the script and everything. And they are so. I mean, let's just say there are. I've seen the shorter version rants on some of them, but I've been told that some of these people that I, I've seen on the internet and know, they've gone into full out rants, and we got like the abridged version, the short, like the cliff note version. So, uh, and why I did the cover page, too, is because I, I did this for a friend. I did it for a friend uh, because uh, you may know who she is. Uh, she's a good friend. She, her, her name's Kit Quinn. Uh, I don't know her personally, but we've talked over the Internet and through stuff. And I'm hoping to meet her during, at Wonder, and that, not WonderCon, because that's happening. Actually, WonderCon's happening today. I uh, hope everyone who's actually win. <laughs> I should talk about the Green Lantern thing, but you know, I I haven't read, I haven't seen the footage or anything on it yet, so I can't really comment. Um, so I guess I better get my butt over to the internet, back <laughs> to my computer, and talk about. See, uh, but like I said, uh, I did it for her. She was getting some negative feedback from some people who were being real jerks, and when I read this, and it didn't really help because you know most of the time. You, you try to be nice, but you try to be good. You try to be supportive, but, you know, it's like that you're doing something good, but you're just kind of making something worse. So I did the drawing for her. <laughs> she loved it. Um, oh, I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I've got my hand. I drew, I drew anything in a while. I'm a little rusty. I'm a little bit better than this. But like I said, I was a little rusty. Just, you know, getting my... <laughs> back in the groove of things. So hopefully, like I said, um... I'll see how it goes for next week. I'll have Deadpool Court number 12, and I'll have the new Deadpool family as well, and see what else is coming out. Um, I'm going to be working on the special this week. I'm really, really excited about this. This is my first special that I'm going to be doing. It pretty much takes on the topics of things that I've grown up with and then things I like and combining them together. You'll, you'll see what I mean when, you'll see the, when, when you see it. Because it's going to be really awesome. I'm really looking forward to this. Plus, I'm going to have some more extra free time to do this now because I've got some free time now because of work. Um, of course, no extra pay. But I'll move that along. That's not, that's not personal. So I'll see you guys next week. Uh, have a good weekend. Anybody want to come? Have a great time. Wish I was there right now. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.